80% of your financial success comes down to this. Your words shape your reality, change your language. I was a single parent and I was absolutely broke at one stage in my life. Because here's the choice. I'm having it, I'm never having it. Because your words shape your reality. Hey, this is Marissa Peer, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to train your brain to attract wealth to make more money, because that really is possible. They teach you in four different parts, and by the end of it, you'll be amazed, probably delighted too, that you can acquire that wealth mindset faster than you ever realized, because you just have to know what to do, and I'm gonna take you through it step by step right now. So here's part one, and I want you to remember this because it is true, true, true. Your words shape your reality. If you don't like your reality, the first thing you have to do is change your language. You see, you could be in a wealth language state or a poverty language state. What does that mean? Well, a poverty language state means you say things like, I I'll never be able to afford that. Look at those rich people, they don't know they're born. I don't know how to get the money. I'm never going to get that. I wish I could afford that. I don't think I'm going to ever get it. I'm going to have to save up so much. It's out of my reach. So when I hear certain people talk, they are blocking their mind. They're right in their own way. I can't find the money. Well, here's the thing. Nobody finds money. I don't know where the money is coming from. I'll never be able to afford that. Looking at people with wealth and going, oh God, that's just a distant dream. That's out of my reach. That's out of my league. People with a wealth mindset say, I'm having that. I'm getting that. That's got my name all over it. Let me explain to you how that would work. Let's imagine you go into a store where you're flicking through a magazine. You see something you really want. You go, oh, I haven't got the money. I can't afford it. I'm dirt poor. I'm absolutely broke. I'll never have it. Now, get it. You haven't got the money. I was a single parent and I was absolutely broke at one stage in my life. But what you do when you look at an item is to go, I'm having that. Next year, I will have that. I will have that item. That is going to be mine. And I taught this to my daughter at a very early age would be in the store. She goes, mommy, I want that. I go, okay, darling, you can have that. You'll have that for your birthday because I didn't have money. So I couldn't go, oh, sure, let me buy it for you right now. I didn't want to hear the words, no, I can't afford it. Mommy hasn't got any money. Don't shame me by asking for stuff. I want, never get. I said to her, you want that? Then you will have it. That's going to be for birthday or Christmas or Easter, so you'll have that. Occasionally, I'd make her earn stars. And I did that myself. I'd look at her house and go, hey, I'm having that house. I'm having that life. I'm having that engagement ring. Even when I had no money, I would focus on I'm having it. It's coming to me because here's the choice. I'm having it. I'm never having it. Having been a therapist my entire adult life, one of the things that affects people so badly is this. I want something, but it's not available to me. I want it, but I'm never going to have it. That is literally a block. Wanting is good, but add to that, and I will have it. I am having it this time next year, next month. Don't really quantify when, just say I'm having it. Listen to your language, take note of how you talk and erase, eradicate, eliminate, stop using, can't find the money, don't know where it's coming from, slips through my fingers, there's never enough. I haven't got enough to go around. I don't know how to get the money. Ban all those words and change them. It's not very simple. It's coming to me. The money is coming to me. It's coming to me now. See, how does this work? Well, if you say, I can't remember a thing. I've got such a terrible memory. You'll have a terrible memory. If you say, I've got a great memory, all coming back to me now. Like that Celine Dion song, it's all coming back to me. Now you'll have a great memory because your words shape your reality. Don't like your reality, change your language first. It's the first step and the best step to changing everything, including your ability to attract and maintain wealth. Because here's the truth, what is wealth? If I use the words wealthy, rich or abundant. I could say, I'm rich in love. I have a rich life. I have abundant health. I feel so wealthy because I have so much love in my life. And when I was had a small child and I really didn't have any money, I, I was almost in debt. It was a struggle to pay my mortgage. My daughter would say, mommy, are we rich? I go, darling, we're so rich. We are really, really rich. We're incredibly wealthy. We've got so much. I never talked about money. I just say we're rich, we're wealthy, we have so much. Because I wanted her to believe that. And of course, because I said that over and over again, we're wealthy, we're rich beyond our wealth, we have so much, we're so abundant. I actually moved very quickly into abundance from a struggling single parent who was really struggling to pay the mortgage to someone who had two homes 
fully paid off mortgages. I realized I was using that mindset for her, but I was also using it on myself. And so I want you to think about where are you wealthy? Are you healthy? Have you got your health? Do you have friends? Because that is wealth. Are you rich in love? Are you abundant? Because it's a choice to say, oh, I don't, I don't have enough, or I've got everything, I've got so much. One day I took my daughter one Christmas to feed homeless people in the streets of London. I came home and I felt like a billionaire. I walked him out and I thought, oh my God, I've got fire. I've got a sofa, I've got clean sheets, I've got food in the fridge and I felt immensely wealthy. What people do is when they haven't got money, they look at rich people and think they're not like me and they tend to stay with people that have less and they're in a poverty mindset. And of course, when you hang out with very wealthy people in not, you can think, oh, they've got what I haven't got. A few weeks ago, I had lunch with a billionaire. I actually went out with him and his armed guards. And driving home, my husband said, wow, they've got so much money. I said, yeah, but they haven't got what we've got. We change people's lives. We've saved so many lives. That is priceless. And that's the mindset, not, oh, I'm so jealous. I'm so envious. They've got so much, but I've got so much too. You see, you have something to offer the world and you can monetize it, but you've got to, got to, got to understand that wealth is a feeling. I have so much. I've got so much. Wealth is a feeling. It's a mindset. If you get up every day and go, hey, I'm wealthy, I'm wealthy, I'm abundant, I'm rich. Look at everything I've got. Because you know, if you went to a third world country, you would feel like a billionaire. You already are rich by someone else's standard. Focus on the feeling. Tell yourself, I'm feeling wealthy, I'm feeling rich, I'm feeling abundant. I've got so much. I've got so much of everything. And the more you get into that feeling of being grateful for everything you've got, being really, I'm super grateful I've got this and this and this, because I promise you, you're probably problem is already someone else's fantasy dream come true. You have a job, you have a home you live in, you have a car, you're already way ahead of half of the world. So really get into the feeling of how much you've got and how much is coming to you. More is coming, more is coming, more is coming. Don't hold on to go, oh, I can't spend it. No, more is coming, more is coming, so much is coming. Get that feeling. But also think about how are you going to attract more? It's not about going, um, money is falling from the sky. It's about the feeling of, hey, I'm smart. I have a gift. Everyone has a gift. I have a gift and I'm going to monetize that gift and so much is coming because I'm worth it and I deserve it. You see, when you feel that you're worth it, you attract it. When you have that fear, don't know where it's coming from, I'm scared to spend it, whatever I don't get any more. That's the wrong mindset. It's the wrong feeling because you're living, you've gone back to living in fear. I, I can't tip because I haven't got enough. I've got to hold this money so tightly. I don't want to let it go. No, circulate it, send it out, let it come back. Your next part is to focus on the feeling of being wealthy right now. Imagine how far you've come. Tell yourself you're wealthy, you're rich, and you are massively abundant, and you are master manifester, manifesting more wealth, more riches, and more abundance. And the more you do it, the easier it is until it isn't what you do, it's who you are. That's what I did to go from being a single parent, owning a home in London, a home in LA, buying my daughter a home outright, and really living in that wealth mindset because I made it available. That's the only difference between you and me is I made it available and I said it's available to me. I don't have it today, but it's coming. It's coming really fast. I, I always made myself have a wealth mindset and it's done wonders for me. It's about to do wonders for you. And so here's the most important part of all. You must must, must sit with yourself every day and do this. I'm worthy of a lot of money. I'm worthy of wealth. I'm deserving of wealth. I'm worthy of riches. You might know that 70% of lottery winners are bankrupt in three years. Why is that? Because they never felt worthy. They got rid of it. I've worked with millionaires who got rid of all of their money for one reason only. They never felt worth it. So this is actually the most important step. Every day when you're in the shower, cleaning your teeth, getting ready to go to work, when you're on a commute, start to say over and over again, I'm worth it, I deserve it, I'm attracting wealth because I'm worth it. I'm attracting abundance because I'm worth it. I'm attracting riches because I deserve it. I'm worth it, I'm worth it. 80% of your financial success comes down to this, having an abundance mindset. So again, it's using that abundance language, not the poor language. And then step two is to imagine you're looking at your phone. 
And on your phone is a picture of what you really want. Look at what you want. Look at it. Look over it. Look around it. What do you require? I don't even like the word want. I think wanting is wanting, requiring. So I could say, hey, I'm looking at myself here and I can see this great business. I've got an image of myself selling something amazing. But when you really look over and around and through what you require, you'll see something else. You gotta actually do some work. The best plan in the world won't work if you don't work. You might say, well, you know, I'm an artist and that's not in my nature to be a marketer. Well, sorry, you gotta do both. You might say I'm a spiritual person. Wayne Dyer was spiritual, he understood marketing. You know, I, I write books, but that's the easy bit. But I also had to learn how to market books, talk about books, become a speaker, go on podcasts and talk about my books, go to book signings and sign books. And if you're anxious and go, well, I don't like that bit. You can't have part two unless you do part three and you can't have two or three unless you do part one. Part one, sit and do this every day. I'm worth it. I'm worth it until it isn't what you do. It's who you are. Look very clearly at what you really, really, really require and then decide what are you going to do to make that happen? What are you going to have to learn any goal of significance requires you to learn something new, do something new, go somewhere new, learn about marketing or speaking. Today, if you want to be a writer, unless you can learn to be a speaker too, it's not going to work. If you want to have a business, you don't understand marketing. I've trained 15,000 therapists and we teach marketing as part of our course because it isn't enough anymore to have a gift and a talent but also go out there and learn how to market it, how to sell it, how to make people invest in you. And again, here comes the language. You don't say, would you like to buy this? You say your investment is. So get into that wealth mindset, wealth language, wealth visioning, and you'll become wealthy faster than you ever imagined. See you next time. Check out my next video here.